Hello and welcome to Laser Graffiti. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a handwriting um, into a DXF so that we can use it in a uh, Gerbil drawing machine or uh, in a laser engraver. So, first thing we're going to do is get our image. We bring our image in. And this is just an image of a signature. And we're going to import that into Inkscape. So we can see here that this is not a polyline. It's uh, there's no fill to it. There's no stroke to it. Uh, it is just a collection of pixels. If we select it here uh, and we go to Edit Nodes, notice it has no nodes. So to get the laser to follow this path, we first need to create the path. So we are going to select uh, a Bezier or curve. Then we're just going to select some points along the line. Anywhere along the line that we click uh, with the mouse, we will get a node. We can take these nodes and adjust them so that it exactly follows this path. So we're just going to click every inch or so, or every half inch. We want to have lots of nodes, and it's easier to do this now than to add nodes later. But if you miss a spot and you need another node, you can always add one at a later point. So we're just going to go along this line, add all of our nodes. Okay, just a couple more here. And there we are. And we're just going to hit enter to close out the line. And we're going to come in to uh, adjust the nodes. And you can see all the nodes at all the points that we clicked. Now we're going to have to go in and move these nodes exactly on the line. You can see here at the top, it's not exactly on the line. Additionally, you can see where it jumps the line. So we're going to have to take these and make these curved. So. We're going to zoom out here, we're going to select all of the nodes, then we're going to click select uh, make nodes auto smooth. Selected mode nodes auto smooth. And we're going to zoom in here and we're going to have to move these nodes onto the line. Now you can see it tried to smooth out any of the hard corners, but we have a hard corner here, so we're just going to drag the, the little control points until we get it to match those lines. You see it did a pretty good job of getting out all of the places that, uh, that, that it was jumping the line because it smoothed everything out. However, it has a hard time with those, those sharp angles. So we're just going to go in here and move everything onto the line and adjust those control points. And you can move those control points too if you just slide them closer or further away from each other. Um, that's fine too. So there we go. We got everything adjusted. It looks to be exactly on the, the signature now. So we're going to take and move it off. And we're going to inspect it, make sure it looks good. We're going to zoom out a little bit here. There we go. Looks just like the original. Now I wanted to create a DXS of the original, and so I don't need this this picture anymore. So I'm going to select it. Let's see here, select it. And there we go. And we'll delete it. Now we just want to uh, create a DXF of this. So we're going to go File, Save As, DXF. Now if you're using something other than uh, T2 Laser, then you probably want to move it to 00, zero as well. So we're going to take off RoboMaster, take off RoboLine, select millimeters for the base units. You notice I have it just kind of in the middle of the drawing. Uh, T2 will automatically move it to 0, 0 for me. So that's how I have it set up. So we're going to go File, Import, DXF. There it is. We save it on the desktop. Right. Uh, click Control Laser to create the G code. And we go into the simulation here. If we S for simulation, you're going to see that it's just going to follow that path and create that signature. Well, that's uh, our latest episode of Laser Graffiti. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one.